Welcome, friends. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to take a look at the 10 things you need from Dollar Tree this May 2024. I was noticing on the road these beautiful purple blooms on some trees, and I had to look them up on my plant finder. So they're called Princess Tree Paulonia. So yeah, really pretty if you happen to see them in your area, they're blooming now. Number one. I was so surprised when we pulled up to my store. The florals, the faux florals are in huge abundance. I mean, new and fully stocked, so gorgeous. And also there are spider plants here, faux of course, uh, and fern and spider plants. And you can make your own little faux potted plant if your mom doesn't have a green thumb. And look at this. I don't think I've ever seen the floral aisle this jam packed. Gorgeous, I mean, just you can just go nuts in here. <laughs> I love it. I'm so glad we're no longer the stepchild <laughs> in my store. And I've never noticed before white Gerber daisies, but that would look really chic, I think. Nice and clean if that's your palette. But yeah, this was so full and ugh. I think they just arrived, so I mean, for Mother's Day and beyond, just to maybe stock up for your DIY stash. It's a great time right now. Number two, and still plenty of Mom's Day cards in full effect. Beautiful handmade, crafted looking ones. So many to choose from. I say stock up now so that you know, you don't have to worry about the times to come. <laughs> and also right by the cards, speaking of what to put in cards, this is a huge gift card center here that I think a lot of times can go overlooked. Look, Visa, I think up to $200, TJ Maxx, maybe grandma's not into gaming, but <laughs> they've got eBay, Best Buy, Panera Bread, DQ. I mean, this is great, just especially last minute. Did you forget? You know, grab a card and grab some gift cards. Who doesn't love gift cards? Amazon, come on so awesome such a great time saver too number three the book aisle the book aisle is in full effect beautiful looking books and there may still be some journals left over i did find some in one of my uh smaller stores these were left over, I believe, from Easter. So if you can find some, this is great just to stock up on these too. And then my mom, she is into stickers big time. So like this will be a great companion with the journals to get some stickers if your mom is into that or just uh, stock up for your uh, DIY stash. But yeah, my mom, she loves stickers. So I just love to get, and she loves flowers. So this was a win-win. And I don't think I've seen this many florals. This is definitely coming home. My mom's gonna love this. But I don't think I've seen this many floral stickers at one time. So this is a huge, huge coup. See, they've got like the tulips, so pretty. And you can decorate your cards with these as well. So. Just an idea. Number four. Okay, we've got the what I call the Chotsky glass shelves. They're usually in the front. We've got Mom's Day mugs and these adorable little Chotskys. I think these are like partridges, like a partridge in the pear tree. And look, like from the partridge family. Remember that? That's telling my age. Forget I said that. <laughs> But just cute little tchotchkes that would go nice in a gift basket and miniature candles. And look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Doesn't it look antique -y? In this store, I saw just the two different designs on the lids. But oh man, these are so pretty. 
very French provincial or something, right? But these are a great, great gift for mom. And then look at these. I know a lot of people have shown these. But I finally saw an abundance in this store. And these are great for bathrooms. And my mom is the oil lady. So she would love these for her bathroom, for her different oils. So you've got the different colors here. Mm -hmm. Lavender. And then here's another one. These are like the uh, partridges. You got the unicorns. And these Be Happy's uh, lamps, they were there last year. So they're back. And these are, I think, left over from Easter. But these are great if your mom is spiritual, religious. These are really nice for the bookshelf to add to your gift basket for mom. Really pretty. Got that farmhouse feel. And here we go again with the oil, glass oil holders. I don't know why I like just taking that off. <laughs> it's really pretty. Miniature candles. And again, we have these. You've seen these before, but again, they would be pretty to put probably in a gift basket, Mother's Day gift basket. And then let's see, oh, down here, we've got more little birds. If your mom's into birds. I like how in this store they matched everything, like color coordinated. That's really pretty. Smart, very smart. Then we've got, I love this, always grateful. So yeah, this is a great tchotchke. Uh, display. We've got little miniature candles. I have this coffee one from last year. Number five. Now, if your mom's a gardener, these are very Miramecco. You know the, the Swedish or Finland uh, art print from the mid-century 1950s? So these are great not just for gardening, but maybe cleaning up or just to give her a few for her basket. And I think that these planters would make great gift baskets you know or even the larger ones the colors are so pretty and you know also she can use it for you know planting and I don't think I've ever seen these I think they're so cute the three pack but these are like I think for herbs I don't think I've ever seen these and the gray definitely never seen these because gray you know is my color in my house I love it so these are adorable to add to the basket. And look, these are still left. And the fairy garden, so cute. Oh, these are so cute. So if mom is into gardening, you add this to her basket. And I'm, a, I mean, a borderline obsessed with this red and white one. I don't know why. It's just calling me. I might go back for it. <laughs> I've got enough stuff. But yeah, that's super cute. Yeah, these are cute. I like the red. The red, I don't know, the pop of red is a little, does a little something more to me. It reminds me maybe of strawberry shortcake. Remember her? And then we've got more down here. So, and this might, I went to a few different stores for this video, but this particular one, we still have, and look, look at these guys, the gnomes. Now, I am not a gnome girl. I am not a gnome girl, but these are cute. Especially lined up like this, the blue, pink, yellow, and green. I'm into it. I, 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 it could almost take me over to the gnome side. <laughs> so these are very cute. Again, to put in a basket, especially your mom's a gardener. And then they have also, which I didn't notice before, these uh, twinkle lights for the garden. You know, just cute little add-on. Number six. Now, I remember these brushes when I was a kid. My mom used to always keep one. And I guess you call them a tease brush or you could like part your hair with the, with the bottom of it. But look at all these colors. This is new to me in this store. I've never seen. You've got lavender, white, pink, turquoise. Aren't these pretty? So like maybe for a little beauty basket. And these, I finally found these compact mirrors. You've got the white, lavender, and blue. So this will make, you know, moms always love compacts. Come on, what mature lady doesn't like a good compact? So this will be great again in the basket. And these bandanas, these are yes from last year, but remember two in a pack for $1.25 is bananas. And look, you get two different styles. So look at that pretty, the yellow floral with the mint green look how pretty you know when she's gardening again if she goes out gardening wants to tie one over her head these are great 
great for a gift basket for mom. Number seven. Okay, so Vivian Tries did a, a demo on these. This, These are the Be Pure Glow um, uh, dupes of the Glow Recipe. You see there in the lower left hand of the screen. Yes, yeah, so they've got the moisturizer, the toner, and uh, the cleanser. And yeah, and the, no serum, the serum, yeah. So this is their version and I wanna try it. I definitely wanna try it, but this is not about me, this is about mom. And I believe this is a glass bottle, which makes it, I think the ingredients stay fresher or something. And then if mom is really into, you know, essential agelessness, you know, she doesn't want death to become her, hey, you can get her these. Number eight. I saw this and this was the only one I saw and it screams my mom because my mom loves a notepad. She loves to have her little notepad to jot down things so she doesn't forget. So she's getting this perfect for her. And so this is the mom end cap in one of my stores. And yeah, we've got the bath oil and the bath, no bath, um, bubble bath, bubble bath and bath bomb. That's so cute and such a cute idea in one package. Then you've got peppermint sponge and the peppermint glove set. Well, it's not a set, but you know, you can you package it as a set. And then you've got the, you know, this little kind of tin. This is great for travel, I think. You know, all these, I think, these, these will be great for travel, but the sizing is really nice. And then we've got back the Be Pure stainless steel. We've got the vibrating massager. We've got the one with the balls. And I think it's hilarious that candle in French is bougie. <laughs> We're all a bunch of candles, aren't we? <laughs> We're bougie candles. And these are really nice with the this little pebble detail is really pretty. And they're, of course, they're plastic, they're light, but still, no one's gonna, you know, touch it. It looks like wood to me. And these body massagers definitely snag one for mom. These are new to me. Number nine. Okay, this is another store that I saw these. The Rose Quartz was not in the other store. So, yeah. I say getting all three of these massages and putting them in a basket is a win-win because you never know which texture or surface that mom may love better. So number 10, I saw these in the frame aisle on one of my stores and I think it is adorable, especially maybe if your mom is a reader, an avid reader, and this would even go cute with like some books in a basket and she could have it in her little she shed. I just think it's adorable. So they've got so many different uh, decor pieces, items that will suit Mother's Day. So just take a look in all different parts of the store because sometimes things are hiding. <laughs> and for the bonus section, well, I don't know if all stores are like this, but my store, well, my main store is very, very smart. Instead of having someone that has to get off the register and blow up balloons, they just put all of these gorgeous balloons in the first aisle. It's so fun. I'm like a little kid when I, I'm probably the only adult that does it. <laughs> Shout out to the other adults that do, but I just love walking through. It reminds me when I was little because balloons were my favorite. So yeah, they've got them all set up, beautiful balloons for mom. And yeah, so these are great last minute uh, items that you can get. And I know there's 10 or more things that you need in May for mom's day. Shout out to mom and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!